a 9th edge battle report of a refused flank with the Orc and Goblin defenders on this side and the Highborn Elves. Oh, actually, they're defending on their side. The Orc and Goblins are attacking, and we have to choose three scoring units to secure the targets and eliminate three enemy scoring units. The Highborn Elves are an MSU army with two five-man un five units of Knights of Rima, Swordmasters, Lion Guards. The Orc and Goblin unit is, uh, army is another crazy army with lots of random movement and fanatics and bows. And this time four war machines, two doom divers, one splatterer, and one skewer on the other side of the deployment. The highborn elves dropped everything and go first. Elaine Reavers Some crazy pump wagons and wrecking teams and goblin night ca cave goblin archers These are squig hoppers with three characters the general in the middle, middle here, a BSB with a knife, and one uh, cave goblin hero, all with lances on cave squigs. Two giants, six river trolls, The Highborn Elves choose the two 45 strong Goblin units as scoring. The third unit of scoring is lacking for the Orkin Goblins. And you can see on the refused flanks the troops are closer, 18 apart. On the middle it would be 24 but you have Elaine Reavers and Grotlings vanguarding. There's little action on the other flank. The skewer is left alone to shoot. And the Orkin Goblins choose the White Lions, Swordmasters, and the other Swordmasters in two units as their secure targets to eliminate. So the Highborn Elves will have <coughs> to try to eliminate these Goblin units, and the Goblins will have to try to eliminate the Swordmasters and White Lions in skirmish formation with the General. And he's also a master of Kranegg Tower with four spells. Druidism. This is the beginning of the Highborn Elves turn one, and they've started their movement. The Highborn Elves move forwards on turn one and do a couple of wounds to the scrap wagon. The Orkin Goblins move forwards with everything except their goblin archers who shoot down one chariot. The doom diver helps, kit launcher helps to shoot down another one from the chariot unit. And another kit launcher kills four Elaine Reavers. And that's that, the first turn. This is being thoroughly doc documented. In the Orc and Goblin random movement phase, one mad wrecking team dies because it rolls three once and then 
gets a 3 on the d3 on how many wounds it loses. So it dies on its own uh, behest. Do you charge it? The orc and goblins try to charge the chariot, but it flees. On orc and goblin turn 2. They also charge the knights of Rima, and with the help for a from a couple of fanatics sent out through the mother unit into the combat, they manage to kill four knights of Rima. All in all, two of them in the combat, but the Knight of Rima remains the last one. The general with the wizard's hood miscast and killed all the Nasher dashers in his unit, but the three characters are left. The highborn elves, of course, went first in turn two and they ambushed with sea guards who got through f two fanatics sent through them and lost this bunch of seven but they made their panic test the grotlings charged the white lions we'll have to work out that combat three elaine reavers were shot by a doom diver and uh, four queen's guards were shot by another doom diver Now we'll just have to work out the grottling combat and that will be very exciting. The ambushing sea guards came on in on turn two. They charged a unit of goblins and because they did regrowth after I uh, shot them, they had ranks enough to negate the steadfast of the goblins. So the goblins fled. They're no, now over here at the end of turn 3, after they didn't manage to rally in the Orc and Goblin turn 3. The Prince of Rima and Swordmasters and Spearmen took care of another unit of Goblins which fled, but all the Goblin units got away. In Orc and Goblin turn 3, the three Goblin heroes on Nashers charged the general highborn elf unit of white lions and killed all the white lions and did a wound on the general in a challenge with the least effective of the heroes who has pan of protection pinching so he stole the 2 plus armor save and 4 plus ward of the elven general the giants charged the white lions who fled and they redirected into the archers who fled and the Elaine Reavers were caught by one of the giants so they were run down. The Nasher wrecking team miraculously escaped through the units and didn't hit, hit anyone but the fanatics were released from this goblin unit after they rallied and killed a, a Prince of Rima and a couple of Swordmasters. So that's how that looks. Highborn Elves turn 4 next. The Chariots also fled from something over here but rallied again. They fled from They fled from the Nashers, right? That's all. But that's the one turn back. They fled in turn two. Everyone is happy with the battle, but the goblins are thriving more of on the chaos. The highborn elf player is very frustrated at the mess. <laughs> M M <laughs> mass uh, small unit uh, strategy with fanatics everywhere. The archer, one remaining, charged my unit of 40 remaining goblins. They fled. Then the goblins were charged by the knight of Rima and they were caught by the one knight 
So I'm going to complain to the Ninth Age Forum of 14 goblins being killed by two models. The Highborn Elves have lost a lot of uh, valuable lives to fanatics, but they manage all their panic tests. They've also lost a lot, lost a lot to the Splatter and uh, Git launchers. The White Lions killed the Scrap Wagon, which charged into them. Very valiant of them. And uh, the Goblin King fled from the combat where he was, it was charged by Knights of Rhyma. But uh, the Goblin uh, Hero managed to kill... No, the Goblin kill, King managed to kill the highborn elf general but when being charged and having the BSB wiped out by the Knights of Rhyma the general fled and it kept fleeing into its own turn the Knights of Rhyma however were charged by the trolls the trolls killed and did five wounds to the four knights and then overran We're just going to check whether the remain in play spell and immolation is still in play when the mage is fleeing, when the general with the wizard's hood is fleeing. And now it's Highborn Elf turn five. five. 